in this presentation we learn optimization of air pressure for pressure drop using cfd simulation and process calculation hot air passes through air inlet of uh, this pressure and after that it flows over the this rod place in basket after that uh, this cool air is exhausted from outlet various uh, geometric configuration have been used to get uniform air distribution across uh, this uh, rod uh, but each configuration has different pressure drop and in this presentation we learn what different kind of configuration have been used uh, to get a uh, uniform distribution and uh, cfd simulation is expensive in some cases where uh, process calculation can be used uh, to reduce uh, cost of uh, simulation and uh, it can also save uh, the computational effort the geometry has been created using IC space claim then it is matched in workbench and the mesh file you can use uh, for simulation in IC plane or open form Objective is a uh, CFD modeling of vertically mounted uh, air operator which is carried out to get flow pattern hotspot over the product surface you can find out you can distribution uh, temperature distribution over the core you can get uh, temperature at the outlet and uh, for the CFD simulation you can get only CFD result and for CFD modeling, we required some input. We required material property. We may require uh, details of geometry, height of the uh, this rod that we can. Uh, this input can be needed for the CFD simulation. And uh, uh, the geometry of uh, this air filter is uh, complex, but here we learn how to create geometry and how to optimize. Uh, pressure drop based on CFD or a process calculation and geometry is a pretty much complex and it may take more time for the CFD simulation and uh, you have to use a commercial a CFD solver and this plant and uh, uh, you, once you have commercial uh, uh, solver then uh, we can simulate uh, this uh, type of complex geometry and this basket uh, is placed inside this air operator. There are number of uh, configuration are available. Uh, uh, for uh, arrangement of, bus, uh, of graphite rod these uh, graphite source are there which are uh, placed inside a basket and air flows from the top and it cools the basket and leaves at the bottom and different uh, configuration have been used uh, for the cooling arrangement uh, with uh, with less number of here uh, around uh, 8 uh, rod are place here then here around uh, uh, 36 rods are there here uh, around uh, 60 rods are there and here hundreds graphite rods are there and you have to optimize uh, 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 flow distribution across the uh, uh, this heat exchanger in order to get uh, a sufficient pressure drop but here you have to think whether CFD simulation is possible for the uh, this complex geometry. It may be difficult uh, to complex the geometry. All these 
learn in this presentation please watch this uh, presentation properly and uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe this uh, youtube channel uh, in order to get uh, useful videos for cfd modeling of complex geometry this is the conclusion one uh, in which there are uh, there are uh, around uh, 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 some ro uh, eight rows are there and uh, there are uh, 27 holes are fully open some holes are uh, at uh, are completely open some hole, uh, some holes are partially open and uh, some are uh, uh, there are very few uh, uh, there is very small opening. We have to model uh, all these things in, uh, in simulation. This is case 1. And this is the actual uh, geometry. Here entire from the top. It enters through through the uh, perforated plate. Then it passes uh, through vertical passes. Then it passes through the basket shell. And then uh, then it turns to right and moves through outlet. This is geometry. For the safety modeling point of view, required a volume flow rate. You may require temperature. For heat transfer point of view, you may require a density, conductivity, specific heat, heat transfer coefficient of the surrounding, and uh, you may require a pressure drop at the outlet. If it is given, then you can use, otherwise, uh, you can simulate based on the flow rate considering atmospheric uh, pressure as a reference pressure. And uh, this is uh, this is the CFD model. We have, if you if you have, uh, if you want to optimize and hot uh, air enter here at inlet condition mass flow rate is uh, important bonding condition. Temperature is the same important bonding condition. You must uh, know the size of hole, number of hole at the inlet and outlet. This is the uh, selected configuration. That means it is the configuration is one. That means it, you have, you have, if you are using configuration one, because here we are going to use a different configuration of uh, perforated plate. It may have a, a bigger hole in order to get a low pressure drop. This is option one is there. Uh, here, uh, uh, hot air inlet is there at one side, and outlet is a circular. Here, outlet is circular, and and inlet is a rectangular. And both have a uh, 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 top region is uh, like hemisphere is there. Here is not presented. Uh, here, uh, geometry is the same at, at the top, only bottom side. For option one, we are putting number of holes. We are putting 550 holes. And uh, on the other side, we are putting uh, eight bigger holes. We may have some other option to provide better uh, uh, flow distribution as well as uh, uh, to get lower pressure drop. And here we are going to use a three option. We can use option one. Uh, 
where uh, six fifty holes are there, and each hole has four centimeter diameter. Option two is there. We have four hundred hole of diameter six centimeter, and we are putting here bigger hole near the outlet of size eight centimeter into ten centimeter. And third option is there. We are providing eight holes of the forty centimeter. How can say any one of any one of option is good? This this may give more pressure drop. Uh, here some hole may may not be required. Here we are providing more hole. And but it has more manufacturing cost. Here one one hole is there. It has much bigger size. But structural point of view, these uh, uh, circular plate may buckle. All these uh, uh, thing we have to model one by one, and then decide which configuration is better. This is the uh, uh, geometry in IC's uh, uh, space claim. Here it enters through the circular hole and it passes through uh, basket and it exits it from outlet. And this way geometry is created. It has number of parts are there. and uh, this is uh, this is geometry but cfd uh, point of view we are uh, creating the uh, only fluid volume uh, because we are interested in uh, only uh, flow pattern and uh, uh, this is uh, this is the geometry this geometry you can use uh, uh, you can use uh, any uh, geometry making platform these are the 2D or 3D uh, pattern. We can uh, uh, study the geometry properly, and after that, we can create uh, uh, this 3D model. Then after that, we can extract uh, uh, CFD uh, CFD domain. This is a simplified uh, CFD domain. Like uh, it has uh, only cylindrical shell is there. Here, here inlet is there. Perforated uh, plate is there at uh, top and bottom, and outlet at the top. And uh, if you want to model uh, more complex, uh, then you can uh, consider all the uh, uh, geometric parameter. We have to also consider uh, with basket because we have to also, uh, also consider the effect of the uh, 3D basket. Because uh, basket is also adding uh, some resistance, and uh, we have to also consider uh, some rod. This is the basket with uh, cylindrical rod, and uh, here uh, this uh, computational domain is created uh, by extracting uh, by subtracting fluid uh, solid alloy. Please note that. How to create geometry? Uh, first, uh, we have to uh, first we have to create a solid model. Uh, solid that means overall solid volume. Then, uh, then subtract they subtract the solid volume uh, where we are not interested. You can create a solid volume. And then fill uh, this solid volume with some other volume. If you subtract uh, total volume minus uh, this uh, solid volume, and then we get total uh, fluid volume that we are in uh, that volume we are interested for safety modeling. This is the basket is there. But after subtracting uh, this uh, basket, then we get uh, this type of volume. 
uh, we can take circular plane and uh, we can see how is the geometry looking here because here uh, only fluid domain are there and this is the fluid domain are there and this is the these are the solid part which are subtracted and we are not interested for safe dissemination we are considering all fluid domain we are also considering the perforated uh, a plate at the top and bottom and these are big uh, holes for the bottom plate was uh, this uh, model uh, computational geometry is completed then you have to shift to the meshing cfd flow engineering conduct online classes for advanced cfd modeling this course comprises this 12 lectures all lectures are in detail which cover basic of fluid flow turbulent flow heat transfer cfd modeling spaces transport combustion combustion technology cfd modeling of pollution turbo machinery and 10 lecture as well as cfd tutorial will be discussed there are a 10 assignment which comprises 25 industrial problem all problems are industrial oriented who can get access to training material and video lectures we also provide cfd and technical support to all registered participant for 6 month we also provide assistance for job interview and the fee for indian student is just 3500 and for indian professional the fee is 5000 rupees those student from apart from india the fee is 70 dollar which is equivalent to the 60 euro in this course we learn basic of cfd as well as modeling of complex industrial problems those are interested in this course please visit website www.cfdflowengineering to get syllabus for registration please email to cfd flow engineering at red gmail.com because uh, after the geometry you have to create meshing and uh, meshing uh, just click here and this geometry will open in ic uh, meshing platform this way uh, this geometry uh, has been uh, read properly uh, here you can see this is the geometry is there and uh, this is uh, this is geometry in wire frame and after that uh, we can give uh, a meshing parameter here here we have to give meshing uh, for for uh, cfd as a physical reference because we are selecting physics for cfd so it may be planned you have to give magnetic size of 50 mm 
uh, we can give uh, maximum uh, size 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 we can give maximum size 50 mm uh, deep, deep feature size we can give curvature uh, minimum size we can define as uh, 10 mm and quality uh, after that quality will get after the meshing first we have to view uh, meshing separately for each size here here right click is there control sizing then after sizing uh, after selecting each you have to select the body you have to select this body and uh, after selecting body you have to give size 20 mm similarly you have to give sizing for each body we can use multi zone for structure mesh we can use a face sizing uh, for the whole once uh, sizing over uh, the next step is to give name here inlet and outlet here and this is a very uh, simple problem for the CFD simulation, but it is it is complex for meshing point of view. Hence, uh, this tutorial emphasizes uh, complexity for the meshing as well as optimization. Because here uh, holes are there. See, there are. Uh, there are 528 holes are there here and uh, all are named here 528 faces as wall side wall and the fluid the uh, fluid is also named with fluid here just we can select uh, this volume like uh, one first volume second volume third fourth the right click name selection and by after nine selection then we can select here here fluid here volume and this then okay then uh, this uh, fluid here volume will be created similarly we can create inlet by uh, clicking on create name volume like inlet then click out on okay then inlet uh, here hot uh, will be created Similarly, we can create outlet by, by uh, selecting surface, right click, create name selection and uh, give name outlet. And after that, uh, then you, you have to mesh it properly. And after meshing, you can uh, think that uh, it can be combination of X mesh, straight mesh, and make sure that uh, mesh is uh, enough uh, uh, well uh, to consider the uh, all the uh, uh, all the feature. Uh, we can take uh, mesh section view. How uh, mesh is created? Just take here mesh section and uh, see here and then you can uh, see the sectional view of mesh and mesh is enough fine to consider the whole uh, whole on perforated plate here we have enough number of cell for flow through the, this hole and fine mesh is considered uh, in basket we are also considering hole at the bottom of the basket and uh, here we are considering structure mesh at the center and it is a conformable mesh that means mesh is fine once mesh is completed here, next step is export. Export mesh fluent. Then export. Then export for the uh, this file. Then you can uh, file uh, any case whenever you want. Just save it. 
uh, uh, this uh, file live preheater a dot, uh, preheater uh, dot dot msh file you can save it after saving we can open in flash and simulate this way uh, we have learned how to make uh, geometry and uh, simulation Uh, simulation means uh, a machine. Uh, sorry. In this uh, uh, presentation, we have learned how to create a geometry in space claim. What is the process? Then what are uh, steps followed in meshing? Then uh, after uh, exporting mesh, we can uh, simulate in axis plane. And without basket, first we have to model uh, geometry with a simple uh, case that is preheater without basket. Then we have to go uh, modeling of uh, preheater with basket. In option one, uh, enter here. And it uh, flows uh, around it here because it has a circular, uh, circular uh, space, uh, spaces there around it. And it passes through the hole and it recirculates uh, inside it. And out outlet flow passes uh, through the circular outlet. Because here flow is distributed here. A lot of flow is distributed here. And uh, it take more time uh, uh, to, uh, to get exhausted. And option three here, uh, holes are bigger, and most of the flow uh, pass, uh, uh, flows through the holes which are close to the out outlet. And here, uh, in option one, uh, fluid flows through the uh, circular hole, then it accumulates over the, this uh, annulus space and it flows through uh, this annular phases then it get exhausted that means option one has uh, more uh, uh, resistance to flow compared to option three we can see uh, some more cfd results Here, uh, uh, here, which uh, distributed from both sides here, because here uh, baffle ba is there, and it passes through this uh, circular hole, and uh, it flows vertically, and it uh, and this uh, hot air again uh, distributed through the hole from the bottom side, and it pa uh, it uh, flows through the this annular passage. And uh, because of uh, accumulation of the uh, high air, here velocity increases. Here uh, we can see uh, cross sectional at the top and bottom. And uh, here I have presented CMD result for the uh, similarly we can uh, understand velocity distribution at the top section and bottom section and inlet here uh, is the distributor from both way in annular passage then it flows uh, radially and here you can see uh, here is uh, distributed properly because perforated plate then it flows bottom then it passes through this uh, bigger uh, circular hole and where you can see more uh, velocity is here, that means most air passes uh, through the uh, bigger hole which are close to the outlet. Please note that most air flows through the hole which are open to, uh, which are close to the outlet. Hence, uh, resistance to uh, air flow is less in this uh, configuration. This can be a better configuration compared to the previous one.
you can uh, find out uh, velocity distribution for uh, different cross section and this here enters through uh, air inlet because velocity is less and the, and they did passes through the circular hole if you compare uh, three configuration for uh, velocity contour at the inlet uh, the velocity is, uh, is change here because here uh, baffle is not used hence we get uh, uniform here and uh, less air uh, flow uh, from this side but using the, this baffle uh, uh, the air is distributed here and uh, this this is the same for the top side but uh, we can see uh, uh, the flow pattern is different at the cross section at the bottom a uh, hole is uh, fluid flow is uh, distributed uniformly due to circular hole but it adds more uh, resistance to flow around the uh, circumference then outlet that means uh, it has um, uh, that, that means uh, a flow flow path is longer it passes through a circular hole then it flows through the uh, annular passage and uh, then it takes uh, more it takes more more resistance because uh, all this accumulation of fluid uh, here it takes time and and this is and this perforated holes are also adding resistance to flow in option 2 here observe that most of the fluid passes through the, this bigger hole which is close to the outlet this is the outlet is there obviously uh, around 80% of uh, fluid will uh, will be passed through this circular hole and, uh, and less fluid pass through this per, uh, perforated hole perforated plate because these holes uh, are adding uh, resistance and in option 3 uh, the, uh, this fluid is distributed to, through the number of holes at the bottom section and uh, annular passage is enough uh, to handle uh, some flow and a hole near the outlet it can carry around 40% uh, uh, fluid Our other uh, fluid will be distributed the velocity contours are same in th 3 option only velocity distribution is changed at the bottom section due to change in hole pattern and size of hole. The reason for pressure drop is also presented. In option 1, the pressure drop at the top section is 1.1 inch column and pressure drop is high at the top due to a smaller size of holes on perforate plate and total pressure drop is 1.1 inch water column. And we have to also see the pressure drop in other uh, two cases. In option two, the overall pressure drop is 1.3 inch, and the significant reduction in pressure drop is due to the bigger hole near the outlet because most of fluid passes through the bigger hole and it helps to re reduce the pressure drop across the plate. And the uh, additional holes are there, but they are not uh, helpful for any. Uh, additional benefit. The control of pressure variation across the air pressure has been presented from option 3. The overall pressure drop from inlet to outlet is 1.7 inch water column. The major reason for drop in pressure drop is due to larger circular hole at the bottom portion here overall pressure drop is 1.7 inch and which is definitely lower than option 1 in option 1 option, uh, the pressure drop is 2 inch water column compared to option 1 the option 3 is definitely better hence we can use for further simulation here overall pressure drop from inlet to out outlet have been compared from 3 option in option 1 pressure drop is high and 
a pressure drop is lowest in option 2 due to bigger hole near the outlet in option 3 the pressure drop is 1.8 inch and it is lower than uh, option 1 here option 3 uh, has been selected uh, for design point of view because it uh, it is structurally strong compared to option 2 hence it is used for further simulation with basket basket and uh, uh, this is a predator with a basket is there this uh, this will be more complex problem compared to uh, the case without basket this air enter through uh, through, uh, through the inlet section it distribute to the circular then pass it through the basket this uh, air passes through uh, bottom circular then it, it get exhausted from outlet other uh, uh, geometrical and flow parameter are the sim, uh, same which is discussed previously and uh, 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 before going through the cf result uh, we can discuss uh, geometry how geometry is created this uh, uh, here uh, uh, i have presented velocity control at the top section and bottom section and uh, some uh, intermediate section across uh, basket the inlet flow pattern is similar to uh, uh, the flow with, uh, without uh, basket but here basket uh, top is there and flow is distributed from both side of basket it passes through the open passage through Uh, around open passes around the uh, hot rod and uh, it flows bottom and it flows through uh, holes at the basket and it flows uh, through bottom one here you can see a uh, cfd result uh, for uh, cross section at at the top section fluid flows uh, pro uh, properly uh, was on perforated plate this perforated plate uh, try to distribute velocity more uniformly but but here most of your uh, uh, flows uh, those section are near the inlet because here inlet section is there because most here try to flow uh, this section Up, because uh, those holes are away from the outlet uh, here uh, velocity is less because uh, most of fluid uh, 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 already passes through this hole its uh, amount of mass flow rate uh, come down when it flows around the circumference you can uh, try, try to find out uh, velocity at the different cross section of uh, predator here predator uh, here is a uh, properly distributed that means uh, is uniform and due to some obstruction due to basket uh, uh, body a uh, weak region is created and uh, the velocity increases uh, was at the bottom of the hole because uh, area is less hence velocity is increased we can uh, find out uh, velocity distribution for uh, different section this is a cross section perpendicular to the x axis because uh, um, some space is there at the top uh, here uh, won't flows because uh, here try to flows uh, here uh, pressure is less because here outlet is there and here is uh, uh, get uh, sucked toward the outlet and low pressure is here hence 
here try to flow uh, to the uh, outlet through this uh, uh, basket passage and we can get uh, velocity distribution here uh, sorry pressure distribution contour of pressure on x plane is uh, presented and uh, for uh, option 3 uh, with basket because basket is considered here and basket is also adding uh, some pressure drop and uh, how can find out pressure drop uh, take average pressure at the in, uh, inlet is a 7.86 uh, inch uh, water column and and outlet pressure uh, is a 5.4 5 inch water color. Take a difference and you get a pressure of 2.4 inch water color. That means pressure for this configuration is 2.4 inch water color. And, and we can also find out a pressure drop using a, a process calculation. Here you can see a spreadsheet for a calculation of a pressure drop across a printer and a, a, and a flow rate and loss coefficient. We can find out the pressure drop across the air printer. First, uh, first, you have to decide uh, the geometry into uh, number of the parts. Once we know uh, uh, dimension of the we know diameter of uh, shell, we know dimension of uh, uh, cylindrical rod, we know uh, size of bottom opening. Uh, which has size around uh, uh, 4 inch. Uh, by using this uh, geometric and flow uh, uh, parameter and uh, loss coefficient, uh, we can find out the pressure drop. By using uh, hand calculation, the pressure drop is coming 2.4 inch col column. And this pressure drop uh, is uh, also uh, uh, near to the value obtained by uh, CFD simulation. From CFD simulation, this value is a 2.4 inch column. And using hand collection, this value is a 2.0 inch column. Uh, that, and, but the cost of the CFD simulation is very high. Uh, the cost of the CFD simulation is high. Hence, uh, process uh, cal hence process calculation can be used to find out pressure drop without uh, investing much time in CFD simulation. Hence, uh, process calculation uh, is also important apart from uh, CFD simulation. And it uh, saves a lot of time for uh, optimization of uh, complex geometry. And, it, and process calculation can be used for any complex geometry uh, where CFD is not possible. But CFD simulation uh, uh, can be uh, CFD simulation can be used uh, where process calculation is not possible. Hence, uh, process uh, calculation and CFD simulation has uh, advantage and disadvantage. Each method has some advantage and disadvantage. Uh, considering uh, advantage of each method, try to optimize geometry using less research. Thank you for uh, this attending lecture. Uh, subscribe this channel.
YouTube channel. Thank you for attending this lecture. For more information about CFD analysis of any problem using ANSYS Fluent and Open Form, you can visit the website www.com CFD Flow Engineering. It covers the most of the important topic for engineer scientists related to the CFD and flow engineering and also covers topic for flow technology. Thank you for attending this lecture. God bless you.